everyone. Again, I am here to do a review on the Juvia's Place palettes, the Nubian 1 and the Nubian 2. So I got these palettes about two or three months ago. So, you know, I've gotten my use out of them and... I'll probably insert some pictures of a couple of looks that I've done with them just so you guys can see like the versatility of these palettes but the title is a little misleading I know it says the reason why I hate Juvia's Place palettes the reason why I hate these palettes is because they're this company is gonna make me spend all of my money like I'm gonna go to work and then I'm gonna send them my money because they're coming out with singles and they're coming out with a third palette so obviously I have to buy it because these palettes are absolutely amazing I'm gonna open them up and then I'll just review the colors one by one and how I feel about each palette and if I feel that you need both palettes instead of just one so here's the Nubian one and it's just this like it's almost a lime green color and then it has a Nubian Queen on it and it says the Nubian by Juvia's Place. When you open it, it has another picture of a Nubian Queen and all of these shadows. There's 12 shadows in here and this is a very, very neutral palette. There are a few like pops of colors like these reds here. This color is really pretty. It's like a pink with a gold shift to it. But overall this palette is a very, very neutral palette. And I originally was only going to buy this one. But I got online and they had sent me an email that it was back in stock. So I got online and I ordered it. And then about an hour or so later... Um, I got another email that the Nubian 2 was in stock and I was like, Ugh, should I do it? Should I do it? And I did it. So I did. I emailed the company and I did ask them if they could just ship them together and not charge me double shipping, but I didn't get a reply and I think it was like $3 for each shipping. So it was totally fine. But yeah, this palette is super, super neutral and I wanted this one because I just did like I have so many neutral palettes like I really didn't need this one but the packaging and the pictures and the looks that I seen people do with this I was like I need it here's my money just take it you know that's groceries but just take it because I need it um yeah it's absolutely gorgeous and I use this palette a lot like if you can see like there are dents in some of these shadows because I use it so much I just feel like I can get a look with this and it'll be perfect my only gripe with this palette is that it doesn't have a like cream matte shade and I put a cream matte shade as my base and then I also use that to highlight under my brow bone but from what I've understood is that this palette is geared more towards women of color so this shade right here it's actually a very like light brown I think it's coming up a little bit darker on camera but this shade would be like that perfect color for women who are deeper than me so I don't mind because I can almost find a cream shadow anywhere and I know that it's harder for women who have a deeper skin tone to find eyeshadow like eyeshadows in general not even palettes even single eyeshadows that fit them so well and I know this because my sister is she has a deeper skin tone and I've done her makeup for prom and I've had to use multiple palettes to just get a look on her as opposed to me just being able to use one palette um so I do appreciate Juvia's Place for making a palette that caters to women of color and women with darker skin because I know how hard it is for them to find palettes that work for them. And I know for sure this one absolutely does. So, here is the one that everyone has been like, 
going crazy over. I see this one on my Instagram like at least three or four times a day. And I used this one primarily for this eyeshadow. I used a few colors out of uh, my Nubian 1, but primarily I used my Nubian 2. So, and they both come with like this outer sleeve and then here, here <laughs> is the palette. And this one, as you can see, is like double the size of the other one. The pans are way bigger and from what I've heard and what I've seen on um, Juvia's Place Instagram, their next one is going to be even bigger. So if they just keep making them bigger and bigger, I'm going to keep buying them. I'm buying their singles. I'm going to put them in my uh, Morphe palette. So you guys just keep taking all my money and I'm allowing it. So back to this one. This one is the Nubian 2. And as you can see, this is Juvia's Place Nubian 2. And this one is yellow as opposed to the green. And there's the picture of the Nubian Queen here. And then it says Juvia's Place, the Nubian 2. And crap, my battery's about to die. So this has to be quick. This is it. This palette, oh my god. Gosh, look at it. Just look. Do you see these colors? Like, when I ordered it, I was like, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to use that palette. I'm going to get it just to have it. No. This palette has changed my life. Like, I never used to use oranges, like Morocco. I use this in almost all of my looks. Like, these colors, the only color that I haven't used in here yet and when I mean yet I mean yet is Cleopatra which is the blue but that's only because for work I can't really wear a blue eyeshadow and like I said in my other videos if you watch them I do work full time so but the chance that I get to wear this I actually might wear this blue at BeautyCon maybe maybe but yes, that blue is the only one I haven't worn. Every single color in this, I've worn. And like multiple times. This one actually like, Yah has like, you can see it's been used as well as Egypt. I used Jezebel a lot in this look. I used Morocco, Jezebel, uh, Kenya, Layla, in yeah and Madagascar so I used almost all of the colors in this look that I have on my eyes and let me give you a close-up yes so this palette like if I had to choose one of them I probably couldn't choose because they're both so 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 good like the texture of these eyeshadows is so buttery so pigmented and a couple people have said like oh well I, I already have neutral palettes oh well I already have those colors in other palettes I understand that but I had to get it I had to I had to get them and for me I've used them without primers as well and they last all day on me so there's no reason for me not to love them. My only gripe with these palettes is there's not a neutral cream that's light enough for my color. I know on other like deeper shades it looks good and that's the shade that they need and there's not a black. That's it. There's just dark browns in both of them but other than that like I take these palettes everywhere. Both of these palettes like these two palettes and I have any look that I would want to do if I want to do color if I want to do neutral if I want to do neutral with a pop of color I can do anything with these palettes so they're so 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 good I don't remember the exact price that I paid for them I think this one I paid like like twenty dollars around there twenty and I think this one I paid like 28 or 29 dollars for I did get them when they were on sale um but yeah and then I want to say they took about 
five days to get to me. Yeah, they definitely took about five days to get to me. So I paid about close, yeah, close to $50 for both, including the shipping. And they took about five days to get to me. They did ship them together. So they did realize that I was the same person ordering. They just didn't reply back to me. But it's fine. I know they're busy and I know they're a newer company. So I don't hold that against them whatsoever. I'm going to be ordering for them again. And I think that's it. Like, both palettes are absolutely amazing. If I had to recommend one, I couldn't because... <laughs> I love both of them and I think both of them are completely worth the money so I definitely would say get both of them and I know they have a set that has like some brushes and both palettes that's definitely worth it like if that was in stock when I had ordered my palettes I would have for sure 150% bought that one but it wasn't so I bought those two separately and I may still get their brushes as well I just haven't decided I haven't really looked at reviews on their brushes but just for the deal that you're getting I think it's absolutely amazing so again they're buttery they last all day I've used them without primer and they still last all day they don't crease on me I have oily eyelids and they don't crease on me they don't smudge on me I put them on my um bottom lash line like underneath I smudge them out and they stay there all day so these palettes are 100% worth it and I absolutely love that they cater to women of color because I can go to the drugstore and find a palette and I know people with lighter skin tones can do that as well but if you have a darker skin tone you struggle to find palettes that work for you and the colors will show up vibrant enough the way that they would show up on someone of my skin tone or lighter and I will include swatches at the end of this video on my skin tone and maybe my boyfriend's skin tone I'm mad at him right now but he does have a deeper skin tone so I might just have to do it for you guys but I had told him I'm not talking to him today but I'm gonna have to do it for you guys so you guys can really see how vibrant these are on darker on darker and deeper skin tones so I think that's good for my review again I'll give you the close-up of my look And I 100% hope that you guys get these palettes because if you can, you will love them. Like, don't even thank me, thank Juvia's Place because they created these and I know their third palette is going to be like a lot of bright colors and I don't even wear bright colors. I can't wear bright colors to work, but I'm still going to buy it because maybe one day I'll be in the mood to wear a bright color and... I already know I love their formula. I already know they last all day, so there's no reason for me not to. And their singles, I'm going to buy 100%. I don't care if they're similar colors. I'm still going to buy them because I just love them. And that's the makeup addict in me. I don't need it, but I want it. So I make myself believe that I need it, even though I really don't. <laughs> I need help, but I'm never going to get it because... I just, I love everything and I really feel like I need everything, even when I don't. But yeah, so that is my review. Get your hands on these palettes if you can. I know they do go out of stock a lot, but I believe they're in stock right now. So if you can get your hands on these palettes, get your hands on these palettes because they are so, so, so good. And sign up for their email so that you know when they're back in stock. I got the email at like 6 in the morning and thank god I was up. I was up getting ready for work and I ordered them right there and the other one uh, came in probably like around 8 in the morning so I just ordered that one right after so I want to say wait to see if like one is out of stock and one is in stock but I didn't because I didn't want it to go out of stock. That's just the makeup addict in me. I just convinced myself that I couldn't wait. So I bought them separately. Oh. <laughs> this makes me sound like I need help. And I do, but it's okay. 
So yes, my camera is actually about to die, so I really have to go. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you liked it. I will have my tutorial of this look and just my whole face attached to this video. And I hope you guys get these palettes. I hope you can get your hands on these palettes because I recommend them 250%. Like, these are probably my top palettes right now. Like, 100%. These are probably my top palettes. I use them every single time I do my makeup. It doesn't matter what else I'm using. I always, always use them. So, everything that's on my face will be linked down below. My Instagram will be linked down below. Check out my other video because I'm having a giveaway of the Wet n Wild 2016 highlighters. And I also have a review. Because something different is going on here. If you guys haven't noticed. And I'll have a review on it. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching my video. And God bless you guys.